All right. Uh, so this time we're going to do linear. Well, first order. First order. Linear differential equation. And again, my approach will be to start with some equation, differentiate it to come up with a differential equation question, whose answer we will already, already know because we have it. Okay? Um, and then uh, just having that equation, we're going to try to solve it. Okay? All right, so here, here's, uh, here's what I want to do. I want to Think about x squared of y equals to e to the 3x. Let's try to see what kind of differential equation we would get if we differentiate. All right, once again, we differentiate both sides. This side is easy. What is it? Yeah, by chain rule. Now, how do you differentiate this? What rule should you use? Product, Product rule. Because y is considered as a function of x, and this derivative is, is with respect to x. So we have product rule here, which is uh, you differentiate the first one times the second. Nothing done to the second. You only differentiate the first. And then the next stage, you differentiate the second one, yeah, leaving the first. Now, already this is a differential equation, right? Because you have y prime, you have a derivative with an equation. It's a different equation. However, often what you're going to see is uh, y prime having no coefficient at all. Or if it does, maybe just uh, something else than this. Okay. So uh, we, we will divide everything by x squared so that y prime is, uh, is by itself. So if I divide everything by x squared, I get y prime plus uh, 2y over x, because x and x squared cancels to leave you with just 1x. And this will be 3e e to the 3x over x squared. And finally, let me still rewrite this as y prime plus 2x <laughs> times y equals to 3 times e to the 3x over x squared. That's the differential equation I get. And uh, the solution of this differential equation is what? This one. Which, by the way, is y equals to e to the 3x over x squared. That's what it is. Okay. We already know the solution of that. Now let me define what a first order linear differential equation is. First order linear differential equation is any differential equation of the form. So first order linear DE is a differential equation of the form y prime plus px y plus qx uh, equals to Q, qx. Okay. y prime plus pxy equals to qx. If you have any differential equation that can be put in this form, you call this a first order linear differential equation. OK. Why? Well, it's first order because you only see one derivative. It would be called second order if you had y double prime. This first order, that, that takes care of this one. And it's called linear because whenever you see y, it has no 
no powers. It's it's power of one, right? So if we had y squared, for example, or sine of y, e to the y, anything else will not be called linear. Only when all the y prime and y has first power, then then you're going to say uh, first order linear. So for example, if this was y prime to the squared of this, it would not be considered linear. Linear means order one. Okay? And you remember uh, linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, and cubic polynomial it goes up in that way, right? Mm -hmm. So so that's exactly what I mean. And uh, if you have any differential equation which has y prime in the first order and y as the first order, then you can always solve it for y prime so that y prime doesn't have any co coefficient and, and make it into this form. Okay. So uh, it's, it's rather easy to spot a, a first order linear differential equation. OK. And you can see that this is the first order linear equation, right? Uh, from the perspective of solving it, I mean, we know that uh, to solve it, we should do, do the opposite, right? And we would eventually get here. Okay. For the perspective of solving it, um, it will always be the case that uh, you get the first order linear when you there was some product rule in involved. If you have this product rule involved along the way, uh, then you would be getting this first order of different equation. Uh, that means the way to solve a first order differential equation is to multiply something so that the left side resembles a product rule, and then you have to undo the product rule. Once you undo the product rule, you get to the answer. That's basically the plan. Okay. All right. So how would you solve this? If this was a question, what's the solution? First step, what do you do? Just do back, you, you, you just do the opposite, right? What do you do? Multiply both sides by what? X squared. X squared. You would multiply by x squared. So that some of them cancel, some of them simplify. Like this. And then what would you do? You look at the left side very hard and say, hey, this looks like f times g prime plus f prime g. That's how it looks like, right? What is that? That's the product rule, right? Where f is x squared and uh, g is y. So this is equivalent to derivative of what? What is it? Derivative of? f. f, which is? x squared. x squared times g, which is? y. y. Okay. And now we're almost done. What do you do in the next step? You integrate both sides. Derivative, and if you integrate the derivative, you get itself. If you integrate this, it's 130 to 3x. 130 cancels with 3, so you get this. And finally, if you solve for y, So this is how you solve the first order of equation. But you have to look at this solution very carefully and ask yourself, would I be able to always figure out what to do if I didn't have this? Okay. If you ask that question, there's one part where it's actually kind of impossible to do, which is how do you think about this x squared? How did we know to multiply x squared? Why is it not x cubed, x, x to the fourth? Why is it x squared? OK? That, that's, that's going to be the hard part for linear uh, first order linear. So uh, 
the solution will always follow this format, but there will be one more thing that you do before doing this solution, which is to figure out that x squared is the one that you have to solve. Okay. Would that just be the biggest one? On the uh, no, uh, unfortunately, because uh, if I had the x here, then when you differentiate and, and divide, uh, it won't be the same thing. So okay. yes. Now, what's the purpose of taking out the x squared first? Like, how would you know? Oh, that here, here. Uh, yeah. Here. I just wanted to come up with some equation, and oh. uh, I mean. Well, I meant uh, up there. Actually, I'm sorry. Like when you go to the solution mm -hmm. before that, how do you know to multiply everything by x squared first? Like. What yes, that's my question. That's my question exactly. That that's the thing that you have to know. Okay. Now, I don't have enough time today to explain <coughs> explain why this one works, but let me just show you the formula. You will learn tomorrow that the multiplier that you want, want to multiply on both sides will be e to the integral of px dx. Okay. Now, let's see how this will lead us to x squared in our case, uh, look, what's p for this question? What's px? 2 over x. 2 over x, right? So you end up with e to the, you can pull the 2 outside, and you integrate 1 over x. What's the integral of 1 over x? Ln. <coughs> Ln of x, right? And then you should put plus c, but that doesn't matter. We just need one single function. We don't want to find all possible functions. We just need one function that would, would uh, uh, make the left side as a product rule. Okay. Now, can you simplify this further? Uh, there's a way. First, it's very tempting to cancel e and ln, but that can't be done because of this 2. This 2 has to move out of the way. How do you do that? You make this jump over the log. Power. Yeah, and put it in the power. I, I like to call that the frog over the log rule because this number can jump over the log like a frog. Corny, but uh, it works. Okay, so 2 jumps over the log and it lodges over here, so it's ln of x squared. And now you can cancel and you get x squared. So this formula tells you that x squared is the one that you have to multiply. Now, where did we get this formula from? That I will have to defer until tomorrow. Tomorrow I will explain to you where this formula comes up. Okay? But every time you do this, it will tell you what to multiply. And after you multiply, the left side will turn into the product rule. Undoing the product rule will give you the solution. That's how you solve it.